Dear students, today we will learn how to determine kinetic energy of a gas. There are several equations for determining the kinetic energy of a gas. They are kinetic energy EK equals 3 over 2 KT, kinetic energy EK equals 3 over 2 RT, kinetic energy EK equals 3 over 2 NRT. Here K equals Boltzmann's constant that is 1.38 times 10 to the power minus 23 joule per Kelvin, T equals temperature, R equals molar gas constant that is 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin and N equals mole number. Do remember we must use SI unit here. Now we need to know when and which equation we will apply to determine kinetic energy for a gas. If we are asked to determine the kinetic energy of one atom, two atoms or one molecule or two molecules, then we have to apply this equation. If we are asked to determine the kinetic energy of a mole of gas molecules, then we have to apply this equation. If we are asked to determine the kinetic energy of n mole of gas molecules or if we see mass of the gas is given in the stimulus, then we have to apply this equation. We know mole number n equals small m over capital M. Here small m is the mass of the gas and capital M is the molecular mass of that gas. Let us solve some mathematical problems. Determine the kinetic energy of two helium atoms at the temperature of 27 degree Celsius. See, we are asked to determine the kinetic energy of two atoms. How many atoms? Two. So, which equation should we apply here? Certainly, kinetic energy Ek equals 3 over 2 kT. We know the kinetic energy of a helium atom Ek equals 3 over 2 kT. Here, temperature T equals 27 degree Celsius equals 273 plus 27 Kelvin. That means 300 Kelvin. Boltzmann's constant K equals 1.38 times 10 inverse 23 joule per Kelvin. Kinetic energy of two helium atom equals what? And so we can write Ek equals 3 over 2 times 1.38 into 10 inverse 23 is for Boltzmann constant K times 300 for temperature. Therefore, the kinetic energy of two helium atoms will be Ek equals 2 times 3 over 2 times 1.38 into 10 inverse 23 times 300. 2, 2 cancelled or Ek equals 3 times 1.38 into 10 inverse 23 times 300. Therefore, kinetic energy of two helium atoms Ek equals 1.24 times 10 inverse 20 joule. This is the answer for this problem. Determine the kinetic energy of one mole of nitrogen gas at 20 degree centigrade. See, one mole or a mole of nitrogen gas has to be determined here. So which equation of kinetic energy should we apply here? Certainly we should apply this equation. We know kinetic energy Ek equals 3 over 2 RT. Here temperature T equals 20 degree centigrade equals 273 plus 20 Kelvin equals 293 Kelvin. 
molar gas constant r equals 8.314 joule per mole per kelvin so we can write ek equals 3 over 2 times 8.314 times 293 therefore ek equals 3654 joule this is the answer for this problem determine the kinetic energy of 3 grams of nitrogen gas at 29 degree centigrade. The gram molecular mass of nitrogen gas is 28 grams. See, this is the mass of nitrogen gas. That means this value is the value of small m. And this is the molecular mass of nitrogen gas. That means this value is the value of capital M. A little while ago, we have learnt mole number small n equals small m over capital M. So, which equation should we apply for this question? Obviously, kinetic energy Ek equals 3 over 2 small n capital R capital T. We know n mole kinetic energy Ek equals 3 over 2 nRT. Here temperature T equals 29 degree centigrade equals 273 plus 29 Kelvin equals 302 Kelvin. Molar gas constant R equals 8.314 Joule per mole per Kelvin. Mass of nitrogen gas small m equals 3 grams. Molecular mass of nitrogen gas capital M equals 28 grams per mole. Therefore, mole number of nitrogen gas small n equals 3 grams over 28 grams per mole equals 0 0.107 mole. So, we can write Ek equals 3 times 0 0.107 times 8.314 times 302 over 2. Therefore, Ek equals 402.98 Joule. This is the answer for this problem. Dear students, at the time of solving mathematical problems on kinetic energy for a gas, you may get more equations to determine kinetic energy. The equation can be E equals 3 over 2 PV. Here E means total kinetic energy. We should remember that Ek equals total kinetic energy E. P means pressure and V means volume. If we get the value of pressure and volume given in the stimulus, then we can apply this equation. Another equation of kinetic energy can be E equals capital N times 3 over 2 kT. This capital N means number of atoms or number of molecules. This equation and the first equation that we have learned earlier are exactly the same. With this equation, I have solved the first mathematical problem without using this capital N. See, I didn't write any capital N here. If you want, you can solve the first math problem by using this equation. After watching this tutorial, hopefully all of you will be able to determine any types of kinetic energy related math problems by yourselves. Thanks a lot again for watching this tutorial.